Are you a language enthusiast? Maybe you just want to learn a few, few words in some language, or do you want to practice what you already know? Well, I've got something I want to show you right here, and it's called Takio AI. It's an amazing product. And the only reason that I want to share this with you is because I've been using it myself. I love languages. I've been studying languages since I was in seventh grade. Started with French, then I went from French to Spanish, Spanish to German, German to Russian, American Sign Language, and I speak fluent Mandarin. I have a bachelor's degree in Mongolian, and I love languages. I've studied bits and pieces of Vietnamese, Tagalog, Japanese, in any language that I can get my hands around or any country that I visit. And if you want to learn a language, or if you want to practice what you already know, then you need to check out Takio AI. So this is the splash page for Takio AI. It gives you all of the information that you need to know about how to use it, what it is. You can basically use any language. The languages are amazing. How many languages you can use and what you can do with it is virtually amazing. I have to say that I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm sold. So here we are in the settings. And when you go into your settings area, you can configure your experience. So what you want to do is you want to choose the language that you want to work from. Say it's your native, your native tongue or a language that you speak really well that you want to learn another language through. For instance, I would use Chinese to try and use, to try and learn more Japanese because for me, I see the similarities between those. Or maybe if I speak good French, I want to use French to learn Italian. But pretty much I'm just using English, American English. But then the language that I want to practice, and you can see here that there are lots of different languages. You can go from American English to British English or any other language where you've got all of these different types of English, different dialects of English or regional English. The Spanish regional options are amazing. And then you've got um, Tagalog listed as Filipino and uh, French from France, Canada, Swiss French. You have all sorts of different things that you can go through and choose from that if you want to learn, you can start learning or practice if you already know some. Now, one of the small drawbacks with learning a language from zero is going to be that the uh, teacher or the your tutor does not necessarily speak English. And so you need to be able to have some ability to interact with them in, in their language. You can come over here and it will translate what you want to say into uh, like to translate American English. So say if I wanted to say, uh, what time is it? Okay, then I can put that in. So then it asks, it says, uh, so I can copy that, put it over here, enter. Now let's go through the pronunciation. And what the pronunciation is, is that it puts wherever you, you put yourself in the, your proficiency level, that's where it's going to work with you. Some of the proficiency levels aren't quite figured out yet. They're still working on it. So in Chinese, the proficiency level hasn't been established very well. A lot of the very basic things are actually quite complex. But in other languages, French, Spanish, uh, languages like that, it's much more uh, intuitive to those levels. So say if we want to do a pronunciation, uh, I can change that to beginner, go to pronunciation, click on start practicing, and then something comes up here. So you can read it. Once you're finished, you just click done. And then it comes up and it shows you your fluency, your completedness, and your accuracy. And up here, you're seeing the, the, uh, the things that it hears clearly. And these are some of the things that it, it's not hearing quite clear enough. So uh, let's go back to the home. And uh, you can see you can choose all of these different tutors. Let's go to a different language. So now let's say um, I'll put it in French. And uh, I do French from Canada. Uh, I choose to speak North American French. And so uh, put it at upper intermediate. So now we only have three uh, tutors that we can choose from. So I'll switch to one of those and then we can go to chat. 
Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous, comment ça va? Ça va bien. Je suis en train de faire une vidéo. C'est génial. Quel type de vidéo êtes-vous en train de faire? Okay, so now we can go to pronunciation for upper media, intermediate in French. La réalité augmentée est une technologie qui superpose des éléments virtuels au monde réel, offrant ainsi de nouvelles expériences interactives et immersives. Um, and then there's lots of different reactions to the different words in my pronunciation. So if I'm not sure a good way to pronounce this, say, let's look at this one, élément, and let's hear how it's telling me I should pronounce it. Élément. Élément. So if you're interested in improving on the languages that you've studied, bringing them back, or starting a new language, or one that you're just starting, try out Takio AI. It'll be a great tutor experience. And I think once you get into it, you'll really find that there's a lot of incredible and really exciting things that can be done with it. Takio AI. Check it out today. You get a free seven-day trial with your subscription.